guys, I'm here with Principal Smith now, and it looks like he's been uh, working out pretty hard here. So what are you doing here today? Well, you know what? This is an awesome opportunity. I mean, you look at all the students we have down here. The juniors have been working so hard, and we thought, you know what? Uh, we have Hoops for Heart organized by Mr. Kennedy. We do something great for the American Heart Association. We bring our students down here and have a little bit of fun today. Well, right now we got obviously we got a big, uh, big old party going on with some basketball. Oh uh, well, we're right here for the Hoops for Heart. We're watching uh, the two teams play. It looks like a teachers team versus uh, one of the senior teams, the Goon Squad versus the teachers. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. All right, guys. Now I'm here with Pat Kennedy. Go be Chef. Go be Chef. And uh, he's obviously a fan here, so can you tell us what you're doing here today? Um, well, basically what I'm doing here today is, is supporting my, my fellow seniors and hopefully they're picking butt in this uh, Hoops for Heart tournament. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. All right, and um... There you go, Tay! There you go! I honestly don't even think there's any points been scored yet. Uh, we have uh, 16 teams competing in a three-on-three -three tournament. It's going to benefit the American Heart Association uh, with all the, uh, the money we raise. Just a great time for the kids to come down and, and get some exercise and for, for our student body to see that you know we have a great group of people that uh, want to be involved with different things. You can see Mrs. Uh, Mr. Stevenson at the top of the key over there. <laughs> And uh, he's passing the ball. And uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, get hit Mr. Uh, Morris down low because he's the big guy. He's the biggest guy out there. Team Shepard all the way. There's a bunch of juniors and, uh, and Kevin McGinley, who's my a good friend, and Robbie Collins. So, so Team Shepard all the way. Team Shepard. Let's go, Team Shepard! If you don't notice or not, he has a bad ankle, so he can't necessarily do too much. Not really all that mobile, so he has to uh, uh, rely on uh, speed and the quickness. Who's on your team? My team is uh, made up of all phenomenal people. Not the best athletes, but phenomenal people. What is the benefit of having things like this at our school? Uh, it, it builds a lot of uh, friendship because I have a lot of people on my team I don't normally hang out with, and also it's for a good cause. Did you have like a strategy when you were coming up with your team? Not really, just we're all friends, so. Did you have like a strategy when you were coming up with it? Three, no, just two, three, two, one. We do this. We just went out there and just played. Our record right now is 2-1, so we're looking to win this. You guys are doing pretty good. We had sign-ups for about two weeks, so anyone that was on a team and then all of our volunteers um, are going to be excused from, from classes for the afternoon. And we had a lot of our teachers, as you can see, bring their classes down to watch their uh, watch their peers. It's awesome. We did, uh, a lot of cooperation with the uh, faculty, obviously, and the student cooperation has been phenomenal. Um, you know, the kids came down, sitting in the bleachers, having a good time, kids playing. Um, Captains are involved with the decision-making process, how we're going to run the games, and I think it's going well. Right now, I'm coaching uh, Team Shep, uh, Officer Shepard, sponsor our team right now, but he couldn't be here, but um, I'm taking over for him, and we're going to try and uh, win the whole thing. All right, and do you have, like, referees here? No, the kids are self-officiating. Uh, Later on in life, if they're doing this as a lifetime activity, I hope that you know they'll be able to take care of uh, rules and competitions on their own. And why are you playing? You're a basketball player. Why are you playing? Uh, they're not allowing basketball players to play. We have a big playoff game today uh, versus Chester. Um, because it actually it um it builds this school spirit for charity. So the so because all the proceeds are, are going to charity. So it just we all come together at the school for one common goal. With uh, things like this in the school, it can bring us all together in like a peaceful environment, something that's very common for all of us. So uh, we can all come down. I know the juniors are having testing and they're going through a lot of stress, so they can, they can have like some way to relax, you know, some way to get out of the flow of things. You know, it's nice weather outside and things like that. And what is the importance of having events like this at our school? Uh, this is just one thing that we got to continue to do to, to show our students, our staff, outside people, whoever might get a chance to, to witness this, that we have a great school, we, we have great kids who want to be involved in things, and it's not just, you know, all academic, academic, we do have some fun. I, I said to our junior class in an assembly recently, hey, you study hard, you test smart, and you have fun. That's, that's what your education should be. So hopefully, uh, you know, with PSSA week, it'll be a nice break in between everything going on, and like I said, the kids look like they're having a blast. Well, you know what? For me, um, I think it's good to blow off some steam, have some fun, laugh at each other. Um, but another part of this is, you know, 
uh, we're allowing training people like an adult, and they're sitting in the stands, they're cheering for each other. It's just been an amazing atmosphere. I mean, you guys have been here, and you can you can see it's it's high energy. Everything's positive. It's just an awesome experience. We need to do this more often. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>